Welcome back to Mr. and Mrs. Delicious and today we have for you a quick and easy assembly guide as well as some tips and tricks on cleaning for the Jack LaLanne power juicer. These juicers are officially a collector's item and there's actually a lot of history behind it. In case you didn't know, Jack LaLanne was one of the most iconic nutrition enthusiasts of our time and helped usher in the age of juicing. There's a few different models available used, however, they don't actually make these anymore. But I'm telling you, this juicer can compete with modern day models, no problem. I have a Breville Juice Fountain Plus, and I still find that the Jack LaLanne Power Juicer is my go-to for my juicing needs. And I'll explain why throughout the video. First, we have the base with the locking arm. Here's the receptacle with the juice spout. Find the groove in the base. That's where you're going to put the juice spout. Next, you're gonna grab the filter. And right off the hop, I'm just gonna say, I prefer this filter a thousand times more than the Breville Juice Fountain Plus. This is way easier to clean. I have a real issue cleaning the Breville Juice Fountain Plus. It's really tiring actually, so I prefer this. Just a great design. And as you can see, there's a little dent in it. That's because it's second hand, but still works like a charm. So just ignore that. There's a hole in the bottom of the filter. Just line that up with the screw plug on the base. Next, we have the blade. Notice the two holes on the side. The two pegs on the crescent tool fit in those two holes to tighten. So before you go and put on the lid, you're going to slip the pulp collector under the lip at the back. Then you're gonna put the lid on just like that. Slide in the food pusher. So please do not store the crescent tool inside the juicer. I'm wondering if that's how this particular model was damaged because someone left the crescent tool inside, forgot it was in there, and then turned it on. That could be it. Now click the locking bar into place. Your juicer won't start unless you do this. Today I'm also going to show you guys how to clean this thing. For the disassembly, just bring the locking arm down, take the food pusher out, and then take the lid off. My least favorite part of owning a juicer is having to clean it. Besides putting it in a dishwasher, I'm going to show you guys the most effective way to clean it by hand and some little tips and tricks along the way. I really like those grocery store produce bags. They're perfect for the pulp container. They help reduce the amount of cleaning you have to do. Now grab your crescent tool and unscrew the blade. Make a habit out of cleaning this every day. Stuck on food is harder to get off the longer you leave it. If you're washing your juicer by hand, pick up one of these stainless steel basket filter traps. They're just mesh, they go over your drain, and they're gonna catch all of the pulp that comes out of the juicer. There's so much pulp. This method makes the most sense to me. Pick up one of these sink strainers. They're gonna make your life a whole lot easier. If you were to just fill up the sink and start dunking the parts in, the water would get dirty way too quickly. So this is the best bet. This is the easiest way to get the pulp off. There's grooves in the top of the receptacle, and this is where a lot of food gets stuck. I would recommend using the spray setting on your faucet to help get that food out. The spout can also get really gritty. So step one, rinse the parts, and then just toss the pulp in the trash once the strainer basket fills up. For the bottom of the food pusher, I would use a soft bristle brush to get the food unstuck. I would also use the soft bristle brush on the blade. But for the screen, for the filter, I would actually use steel wool. I find that this works best to do one side first and then alterate to the other side. And that usually works pretty good. 
I have big problems cleaning my Breville. This filter is so easy to clean. I'm not gonna use anything too special, just hot soapy water to clean this. There's grooves in the top of the screen. The soft bristle brush helps remove anything stuck in there. And voila, there we have it. Now all that's left is our blade. And like I said, we're gonna use the soft bristle brush to get the food unstuck. We'll just give the food basket a quick rinse. There's nothing much in there since we use the produce bag to catch most of our pulp. Now finally, we're going to give the motor base a quick wipe with hot soapy water, then dry it off. And there we have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed our video on the Jack LaLanne power juicer. This thing is a piece of art. It's a collector's item at this point. It does the trick every time. I have more issues with my new juicer. If you can pick up one of these on Kijiji or eBay, they're going for like 50 to 100 bucks and it's a steal. It's my favorite juicer. I would advise everybody, if you can get your hands on one of these, it seems like it's gonna last forever, but I just love it. It's so worth the price used. I think they're so durable. Just a great item from an iconic health and fitness legend, Jack LaLanne. Thanks for coming by and check out some of these other amazing videos.